Hello, I hope you are doing well on this lovely evening. It is Thursday, howdy from Texas. <laughs> it is Thursday, the 13th of January, 2022, 113-2022. It is coming on. Everything is coming on us. Everything is coming in. We are approaching the storm. The storm is upon us, almost. Um, if you look at the Mercury retrograde, we are in technically now, starting today through February 3rd, we are in Mercury retrograde. What does Mercury retrograde mean? That means nothing works out. Like all the shit storm comes, pardon my French. It, it's all going to come. There's going to be all kinds of ac accusations, all kinds of outings, all kinds of news. Um, you know, a lot of corruption and a lot of truth coming to light. So it's a good, 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 good time for us. Um, and a bad, 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 bad time for the bad guys. Boo. So get right with your creator, number one. And number two, just keep the faith and um, keep the peace, uh, keep the love, embrace the love. Embrace the love in your heart, embrace the love in your body and send it to the children. Send it to our military members who are going to be fighting through this. Send it to our leadership um, and all of the white hat um, alliance. Send them love. Let's all send them love right now. Love. Send them love bubbles. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a couple of updates. There have been a couple things. Um, Riz Flex did a tribute to Kirsten W. on her channel. Looks like she was sick for a little while and she came back and did a video um, yesterday and she gave a lovely um, tribute for Kirsten. I don't remember if I recorded any of that because I was going to share with you because she had some beautiful words to say but I don't think I recorded that so um so did, she did post this um R.I.P. Kristen with this lovely picture so rest in peace Kirsten if you are gone and um God bless you and I hope you're safe if you are still with us. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and address some of the things that are being said. Um, here's something that's being said. And this was said yesterday from David Nino Rodriguez. From what I understand, her body seems to be missing. Uh, people close to her are scared and can't seem to get closure to find her body. This is crazy. Why would they be hiding her body? Why can't they find her body? Now, it could have changed this morning. This is yesterday's news. This is what I was told yesterday. Uh, you might want to fact check that, look into it, but supposedly she's missing. <laughs> what are they hiding? We are living in crazy times, folks. Crazy fucking times. I'm just going to say the conversation I had with Juanito made me understand the safeties that are in place. So when this all comes tumbling down, crumbling, unraveling to our feet, I'm going to be honest with you folks. I, I understand it. I understand it. And um, that's about all I can say. Okay. So um, David uh, Nino Rodriguez did say, yes, you heard it correctly. Kirsten W's body is missing. Just another um, interesting twist of events when it comes to the mysterious saga of the death of Kirsten W. So um, another thing, yes, um, I really miss her brashness too, Miss Liz. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so another thing um, to think about is I went out, I went back and I looked at, um, first of all, on that Nino news, um, that was reported as of the 12th. So I don't know if I haven't seen any more news come out today, but 
that her body was missing that was reported on the 12th, which was yesterday. So um, actually he said yesterday, so that would have been news he got on um, the 11th. So as far as Scott, he did make a few comments and I see that none of him them have addressed the possibility that she could be alive, which is kind of strange to me, honestly. I mean, I think it's kind of smells fishy to a lot of us and especially it seems like they want us to believe she's gone because it supports all the narratives. It supports the black hat narrative because then they can say, you know what they're saying, that she didn't get the, and she died and she's a QAnon, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so there's that. And then there's the white hat narrative that she's gone. So or is that the why not narrative? Are these people on the dark side? I don't know. <laughs> but it does seem like her intel was good and she never really did put any false information in there. So I would love to um, guess that she would be on the white hat side. So um, no one has addressed number one, the fact that she could be alive or number two, except for uh, Linda P, which I've given you the information on. Watch my previous videos if you haven't before. Um, you think she's still with us too? I kind of had that feeling. I mean, I asked my inner self and my inner self said, yes, she's being protected right now. So I hope you're doing okay, Kirsten W. Um, but, you know, the other rumor that, well, there's three rumors that no one has talked about besides me. Number one, that she's alive, number one, that she's a man, number three, that she was accused of stealing $700,000 from a children's charity alongside Timothy Charles Holmseth. So it's just odd that, you know, no one's addressing these allegations, which they're pretty serious and pretty damning uh, where they're coming from. I know um, I said Lisa P last time, it's not Lisa P. I misspoke, so apologize. It is Linda P. And Linda P on McAllister TV. She is on BitChute and Rumble. Um, she reported another thing today. So, uh, yeah, Linda P on McAllister TV. You said, where are the rumors coming from? So yeah, Linda P on McAllister TV. You can find her on Rumble or you can find her on um bit shoot so this is the kind of thing that one makes me wonder because no one's addressed the rumors that she's a man right except let's listen to what scott has to say they're probably maybe the most controversial one that we know of <clears throat> many people out there love kirsten w's information uh many people loved her style her gruff harsh style flipping her hair throwing her hair back with her hands like a supermodel um bragging about how she was <laughs> bragging about her clothes and um bragging about how big her dick was but he bleeped it out it's like a supermodel um bragging about how she was <laughs> bragging about her clothes and um so bragging about how big her dick was and she did make the comments that my dick is bigger than yours or you know she bragged about her dick so is that is that just you know something a ballsy woman says or does that also lend credibility that she could be a man calling people out actually uh you know attack and truthers and people people and i you know i don't I say it like it is, you know, uh, that's a problem I had with her as well. Uh, she would attack truthers. I, I hate that word. Though. God, I can't believe it. All right. So, yeah, there's a lot of um, I feel like there's kind of some, some, some ego involved when it comes to SM there. But, you know, that's typically how it goes with some of these men. That's why I want more women to rise up. And I am, you know, rising up. I am bringing attention to this stuff because I think it's important. I think a lot of us are, um, you know, trying to process through this information and stuff. So 
I am asking questions that we're all kind of thinking. Um, I don't claim to represent anyone else. I'm not aligned with anybody. And um, I'm not telling you what to believe. I'm just presenting the facts. So just for the record, I'm not accusing anyone of anything and not trying to stir the pot. I'm just trying to su provide support that's not being provided right now because I don't see anyone having the courage to say the things that I'm saying right now, which is a little bit of a red flag. But, you know, as far as I can tell, if I had to guess, this is the white hat narrative. And then when you start questioning things and you start asking questions, people are like, let Kirsten rest in peace. Why are you gossiping? Why are you stirring things up? Why are you spreading rumors? Well, isn't that what we were trained to do? Isn't that how we've learned through this whole process of researching ourselves? Aren't we, excuse me, supposed to ask questions and, um, you know, not just accept what people say without any proof? And um, if there was proof, then we would have seen it by now. We would have seen a picture of a dead body. We would have seen a funeral. We would have seen, um, you know, there would probably be something looked into as far as her legal case and an autopsy being done. Well, apparently an autopsy can't be done because her body is missing. So it does seem a little um, sketchy to me. Um, I do love Riss Flex. I love everything she shares and my heart goes out to her. I'm sorry, Riss. I know that you were really close with her. So my heart goes out to to Riss and to, to Ricky Rebel, who I know was really close to her. And my heart goes out to Gene Decode, who mentioned on her tribute that he had probably had over 300 hours of talk time with Kirsten. So um, they really were um, very close and actually talked a lot. So my heart goes out to you guys. And um, that's about it, I think. So there is another story. So remember how the last video that I said was the dark side of Kirsten and is Kirsten alive? And I went over the allegations from Linda P from BitChute saying that um, apparently there's allegations that Kirsten and Timothy Holseth stole $700,000 from a charity that was owned by Field McConnell and Guy Brummel. So if you need to know more about that, go back and watch my, watch my last video. It's very, very important. That's where all the allegations are. So, um, so that being said, you know, Linda's the one that said she was a man. Linda's the one said that you can't trust her. Linda's the one said that she, um, you know, showed up and very revealing and, acted very inappropriately at a Republican event years ago, and she hasn't trusted her since, but she believes that she did steal the money. Um, so there's this. Um, so I told you Guy Brummel and Field McConnell, those are the two guys that owned the charity, right? And we know that Field McConnell ended up in jail, and I guess Guy Brummel is in jail too, which I think Field McConnell is free now, um, but these guys are both patriots, you know, working to provide for the children who are victims and, and fight pedophilia and that kind of stuff. So, um, so this is kind of scary to hear this information, but um, I'll let you know what uh, Linda said today about I Guy Brummel. Guy Brummel has, there, there appears and the information I'm getting is there was an attempt on his life last night, and it was a poisoning thing. Something, and and I've I've got this. This is these are the pieces as I know them, and we'll see what Agent A1 has to say about it. And so, if you want to keep up with the situation, I highly advise um, you connect with Agent A1 and you Canadian people. Look for the tiger face, and <laughs> it says agent underscore A1, at agent underscore A1, and everybody should, because I think pretty soon we're all going to be one country. I hope so. 
It says, just had a call with Margaritaville. Half of the call will be posted. The other half goes to military intel. So you guys can probably check that out. I'm not exactly sure. Then look, I'm just logging on to this. I just clicked on it and I thought, well, go ahead, jump in. <laughs> so I have... They killed his nephew. Okay, so this is her, this is what she's saying. This is what she's trying to bring to life. Gerald Guy Brummel assassination attempt. So this is something she heard about and she wanted to bring light to. And that's why she um, had a portion of her video today on that. Um, it was only about a few minutes of her video, but this is what she says, that they tried to kill him on like last night, which would have been the 12th. Rid of the Blackberry, not only that, they, they killed his nephew and his nephew yes so um through this process they killed his nephew uh was the inventor of the blackberry technology or was heavily in you know a part of that his company so there's this whole blackberry thing where they wanted to get rid of the blackberry not only that they needed to take hold of that technology because um they were using their blackberries so much. So there's a lot connected with this. And uh, Guy has been relentless in uh, seeking justice for his nephew and also for himself and all of the children, because of course, all once you start digging, that's where this all ends up leading. And now it is a mission. So I believe in conjunction with the whole blackberry business, that there was uh, access gained to a list of almost all the pedos in Canadian and U.S. government. And there you so, go. Uh, Guy has had that, and they have been harassing him ever since. They want what he had. So that would be the reason that they've been after him so much, um, Field McConnell and Guy Brummel. They literally have all of the... Um, internet and cell phone activity from U.S. and Canadian governmental officials related to pedophilia. So uh, he they put him here and there. I've done interviews with my channel and you'll see that I have done interviews and they've been treating him pretty well. But apparently he got, no, this is what I heard. It's, don't hold me to this. I'm just telling you what I heard. And it could turn out to be something different. But from what I understand, he got two trays of food last night, which made him suspicious. And I don't know whether he sent both of them back or one of them back. But I think they gave uh, them to other prisoners and one of the other prisoners died. So one of them got the poison one <laughs> so that's the way i'm hearing it and now i'm just trying to put light on the situation okay so that's the story um there was a an attempt on guy brummel's life and apparently he is in jail um and luckily he didn't eat it but someone else did and someone died um so just bringing light to that um that allegation as well. And um, I just wanted to give you a couple little updates. Um, yesterday, it was confirmed that 32 states um, have the National Guard activated. And today, I heard that it was all the states. And then I also heard that it was 48 states have the National Guard activated. So um, why? is my question. What they're saying is they're saying it is for COVID testing. And then um, Gavin Newsom mentioned for crowd control. And then, but they've said it was for COVID testing and civil disobedience to help regulate civil disobedience. Does that mean there's some big news coming out, um, possibly? I mean, I don't know. That seems to be uh, what we're all wondering, because that is what Mr. T told us, that what was supposed to happen on the 6th did not happen, 
Many people think that was Nasara, but I don't know. Um, he was supposed to make have a press conference on January 6th, and it was canceled two days before. So that was, um, he was obviously upset about that in his statement, and he was saying some of the important issues he was going to discuss, that important issues that he was going to discuss on the 6th, he would be discussing on the 14th in the Arizona rally, um, no, the 15th. That would be Saturday, this coming Saturday. Um, so what's he going to say? I don't know. Um, I wouldn't think that Trump would be the one to announce the truth or, you know, with everyone because, um, you know, we want the sleepers to believe it and they hate him. So um, I'm not sure what he's going to be announcing. And is this just for us or is this for everybody? Um, I think it's possible if they do censor his information, they could always take over the airwaves at any point. Um, so what is the National Guard in place for? By the way, they're on yellow status. So he, um, so they can have within 15 minutes anywhere in one of these 48 states, they can have response. That's what they're there for. Um, the National Guard, they can respond within 15 minutes. So um, the other thing was the CDC came out and admitted yesterday that only 6% of the deaths they reported were actually from coronavirus. So I'm not sure where people are, what ground people are standing on anymore if the tests don't work and the deaths aren't real. Um, possibly only misclassified because we all know that in 2020, there were no more deaths as usual. It was actually less than usual, the total number of deaths in the US. Now it didn't start going up until 2021, until they rolled out the... And now the CDC is saying that only 6% of the numbers are true. They lied on 94% of them. So it looks like the truth is coming out. Um, UK data also released a study and they, this was on the news because they are telling the truth about this. They released a study that um, people with the, are over 250 times more likely to get C word. How does that make any sense? I don't know. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Kirsten's dead or alive? Um, do you? I don't know. I don't know what you think. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you think she's a man or do you think she's a woman? Apparently, some people think she's a man. Um, I don't know. You know, I guess the jury's out. But essentially, it comes down to we keep our faith. We hold love in our hearts. We keep the peace. We're not stressing about this because we've done all the prep work to be completely prepared during this um, this whole debacle. So sit tight, buckle up, buttercup, and it's going to be a wild ride from now until at least February 3rd. Much love. Hope you're all doing well. Also, um, if you don't know me, I am Chelsea Colley. I am an empowerment specialist, speaker, and author. And I wrote this book right here, Be a Life Breather. It is awesome. It's a workbook, which will help you um, get real and do your bucket list and do your life plan so that you can actually make plans for your wildest dreams. And it's my pleasure to do this. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Rob, for tuning in. Thank you, Miss MTV2. And I hope everybody has a lovely evening and a great weekend. Bye-bye.